Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews. Today I'm going to be making some <clears throat> chicken cheese steaks. What I did is I got some frozen chicken cheese steak patties. They also had regular ones. They have some provolone, got some hoagie rolls, red pepper, onions, and I'm going to either put some ghost pepper mustard or regular mustard really simple you just take these from frozen you put it in a skillet chop it up and you put it all together what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut up the onion cut up the belt the red pepper fry those in there get those done and then I'm going to go ahead and do the cheese steak and then put the cheese on top and top it with mustard so Go ahead and um, go over to the the pan real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up and get that started. Okay, I got the onions and the bell cut, the red peppers going. I'm gonna fry those up till they're brown, and then I'm gonna work on the chicken. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, the peppers are pretty much done. The onions are melted down, and I'm gonna go ahead and add in the cheese steak. Okay. Okay, I've got the steak already. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It says to use it from frozen. Sizzle it, get the pan all heating up. And there's a actually seasoning packet in here to put on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the block on there. This is, a, I guess it's layers of chicken. Go ahead and put that on there. And then I'm going to add this seasoning packet. And I'm going to flip it. And I'll wait to be right back. I went ahead and flipped it. I put the seasoning on the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and... And I'm going to chop it up as it uh, finishes, and then uh, hopefully everything will be good. Okay, the meat's all done. Pretty much fried up, chopped up. I'm going to build a sandwich and go from there. Okay, so I have the bread. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one with regular and one with the ghost pepper. <laughs> So, hang on. All right, so I have them mustard and uh, the ghost pepper. All right, I went ahead and put the chicken on there, on both of them, then I'm gonna put the peppers and I'm gonna put it on a little bit of cheese in it. All right, I topped them with the peppers and the cheese. I'm gonna nuke the cheese for a minute and then put them together. All right, so here we go. All right, so there we go. It's all melted. I'm gonna go ahead and put it together. And this one is the hot, and this one's the regular. So stay tuned. All right, so here's all put together. This is the regular. This is the ghost pepper. And it's really easy, like I said, just frozen. Fry it up, do a little bit of uh, cheese. You could put this under the rack on a broiler and do it that way, but I'm gonna go ahead and try one of them and see how it works. So, hang on. All right, guys, so here we go. This is the ghost pepper cheese steak. So here we go, I'm gonna take a bite. Hopefully, it's not bad. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. that's hot <clears throat> that's spicy chicken and seasoning is pretty spicy salty but as you can see pretty good so for that one I would rate it probably mm, about an 8 for 
for homemade soft bed. So there you go, guys. Another edition of What's for Dinner. And hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, go ahead, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you won't miss any future content. Or if I go live, you won't miss the fun. So until next time, I'm doing food reviews. I'll be trying something new and spicy for you. <laughs> Finish this off and I'll probably have to get some milk or something. So until next time, guys, talk to you later.